Good evening, YouTubers. Here we are, part two of using Super Iron Out to clean up minerals and rocks uh, to expose crystals and colors and that kind of stuff. Yesterday, I put a bunch of this here ore into this bucket from the Bruce Mines area, and as you can see, it's pretty black. That's obviously because uh, the Super Iron Out, which is an acid, is basically eating away at all the grime and causing it to separate from the stones. I have some hot water here for my next 24 hour soaking and I have some clean water here for my rinse before I put it into the new bucket for this next 24 hours. For this step all you need is the dollar store scrub brush there that you can see and you need your super iron out obviously and the rocks that we put in here. For this here, there's a couple of uh, little safety tips. One, using the scrub brush and scrubbing the rocks, it can splash little droplets all over your clothes or your skin. This stuff does bleach your clothes. It is strong enough to destroy extremely valuable clothes uh, or even nice stuff. I've gone through a couple of pairs of Under Armour shirts, not knowing that I was destroying it, thinking that this stuff not wouldn't bleach anything. Pardon my little stutter there. So, so here we are. So, I'm basically just gonna use my bare hands. I do recommend using gloves for this part. Uh, kids, don't do this on uh, on your own. Do it with a parent. Get permission before you use any chemicals. Obviously. And I'm just going to put my hand in here and then I'm just going to drop it into the wash bucket. Okay, it's I've used this before. I know the effects. I know how it's going to affect my hand. And I know if I rinse it right away that uh, you know, I'll be relatively okay. As you can see, I'm pulling them out. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on. But uh, we'll give it a little rinse here and then do another soak and see what's going on from there. Well, that quartz is starting to pop in that one a little bit. Forgive me for the shaky video. I'm trying to do everything here at once. I haven't got a stand for this camera yet to do this. Shake off as much as the uh, dirty water as you can, obviously. You don't want any of that into the rinse or the good stuff. Okay, let's put that there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna try and stand my camera up so everybody can see me and what I'm doing. Pardon for the mess in the back there. It's kind of like, you know, a kid's little bike area. brush in here. Let's see if I can get it closer here. So I do I just and brush down towards the water. That way there it doesn't splash up towards your face or on your clothes. Um, well I guess that's my first blooper there. <clears throat> I just kind of hit all the stuff real quick. Give it a shake. Look at it and see the color of it. It's just you know nice and white. Definitely can see some of the pyrites come in there through. A couple of little specks here and there. Sorry if the lighting isn't great. I'm going to actually turn my light on camera here. Just bear with me. Rock here, not a whole lot going on. A little pyrite in there, nothing much. So 
but here's one where you can start to see the crystals coming through. I'll do a closer up video of that one shortly. I'm not going to scrub every one of these rocks here in the video. I'm just going to grab a select few that I've been interested in. Obviously be very gentle if you see a cavity or a bug. You don't want to ruin any of those little fine little points in there. But the more you get out of those little cavities, the better it is for the iron out to do its job. You know, the toothbrush will work on something like that. That rock on its own basically turned that water pretty black. I'm just going to pause this, do the rest of these rocks, and I'll return. Alright, welcome back. Sorry about the little pause there. I got the rocks all cleaned up, dried off, put them out on the table so you can kind of see. So as you can see in the pan, that's obviously the really good stuff. And to be honest, I might even just soak that one there on its own. Or this one here, I haven't decided. I'm gonna crush either one of those good ones and then save one. This is kind of what the ore looked like I put in before I went in, the quartz and stuff like that with, you know, it just could look like little bits of pyrite, golden flakes, little peacock ore here and there. So this one here, <clears throat> not a whole lot going on. I think, you know, if anything, it might be a pyrite crystal or two in that little vug, they're really tiny, nothing special with that one. And here we go. So here's the quartz. So it's starting to obviously go white. Lighten up very nice. As you can see, some people refer to it as the boronite or peacock ore, even calcopyrite, number of different terms for what it could be. And as you can see, some of the colors are starting to come through. Nothing crazy for that rock, but you know, nice quartz piece, make a nice piece in the garden. So this one here, this is the one that I said was covered in iron staining. It contained a lot of uh, iron in it. Well, look at this. I exposed a beautiful little vein of quartz in the rock. And there's lots of, I'm going to say, calcopyrite and quartz in there. I'm going to do a further soak. As you can see, you turn it over. And it's... Not all orangey anymore, rusty color. It's starting to lighten up. Further soak will make that even nicer, I'm sure. So here we are. Another one. Quartz. Everything's starting to pop through. Starting to come through the, the colors in the quartz there. Sorry. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I'm not going to go through every rock. There are a couple that... Turned out uh, a little nice. So this was one of the ones that I said contained um, some little quartz crystals. And there they are. And within it is the boronite or the calcopyrite. See? Nice little tips. Nothing crazy to get ex you know excited about. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's always a bonus when you get a crystal or two mixed in with your rocks. Yes, I know people are saying, what's going on up there? What's those? I'll show you those in a minute here. Another one that I said had little quartz crystals through it, which is this one here really strikes me because I like the fact what I could call as, I can only describe, I guess, as an azurite nugget. 
It's obviously from a copper mine, but uh, some beautiful little colors there. A little Vug with some crystals. Liking that one. That one's probably one of my favorites out of this pile. Now this rock here, I'm gonna do a private little video. And the only way to get a close up on this one, or the one sitting next to it, is to watch my next video. Now what I am gonna do though, is show you the rock that I said I think is gonna pop. And as you can see, the colors are coming through. The crystals where my thumb are, see that? Starting to expose. You wanna see a close up? You watch my next video. I'm gonna do a bonus video on these for everybody. See that? Look at this. One of these almost contains what I call just a native, well not what I call, but what everybody calls is a native copper. Um, looks like a leaf or a chunk and I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.